When Amelia told me she had met a nice guy on holiday in Las Vegas, I didn't think much about it. As she told me he lived in Huddersfield. And I knew it was a long way from London and would probably be one of those holiday romances that because of distance would dry up. But around six months later, Amelia invited Sam down to stay at our house. He was not to be called her boyfriend, as it wasn't official yet. I think she was waiting for my seal of approval. She needn't have worried. Sam and we got on like a house on fire. As I told you earlier, Sam and I have the same core values. Rugby, football and beer. <laughs> Love you, Sam. Uh, to give you an insight into the character of Sam, uh, Amelia had by now moved to Huddersfield to be with Sam and was planning a weekend away with her girlfriends. Sam asked if he could come down to us to spend the weekend which we thought was a really nice idea and not realising his true motive. So Sam arrived Friday night and I had arranged tickets, Reading versus EPR. On the way back from London, Sam seemed unusually quiet and um, we called him for a curry. I got home and ate the curry and a couple of beers uh, and then it all became clear. Sam clears his throat and starts his request, which must have been going over in his head all weekend. He said he had seen how happy Jackie and I are, and he wanted that for him and Amelia. Could he respectfully ask for a hand in marriage? I was overwhelmed, but of course, there could only be one answer. <laughs>